What's up guys, I'm the Stradman. So a couple days ago, I posted my running cost to daily drive a Lamborghini. And I noticed that there were two main trends in the comment section. The first one is, why is your insurance so cheap? And secondly, why don't you maintain the car yourself? So in today's video, I'm gonna discuss those two questions. So I pay $148.67 to insure my Lamborghini. Now when I said that in the running cost video, I felt like people didn't believe me. Now that video was supposed to be a 100% honest ownership experience. I should have known better. Here is my State Farm bill. 2006 Lamborghini, monthly installment, $148.67. I'll be sure to post a screenshot of this bill in the video. So why is my insurance rate so cheap in comparison to a lot of people on YouTube? Well, you have to consider the perspective of the insurance agency of State Farm. So I live in Park City, Utah. It's a rural area. It's a small community. Less than 10,000 people live here. In general, it's a wealthy area. When they look at the statistical averages, in general, most people in Park City have auto insurance. Now compare myself to somebody living in Los Angeles, California. Now in Los Angeles, there are a million more cars driving down the road, which means there's a million more people that could theoretically hit me while driving this car. Also, Los Angeles, there are millions and millions of people that live there. Naturally, the percentage of people driving there that are uninsured is going to be higher than Park City. State Farm factors all of this into the equation. So insurance agencies use all sorts of algorithms to determine insurance rates. One of the key things they consider is the age of the driver. Once you turn 25, your insurance rate goes from here to here. And that's because insurance companies understand that once someone turns 25, in general, on average, they're gonna be a more responsible driver, they're gonna drive slower, and they're gonna have a better understanding of the rules of the road. In other words, the chances of them getting in an accident is dramatically smaller than someone who's say 18 or 19. Now I've never been in a car accident and I don't have any speeding tickets. The insurance companies, they calculate that into the insurance rates of course. Also, I have a second car. I have a 2002 Audi TT that is also on the same insurance policy. That means I have two cars on my policy, but only one driver. That's gonna drop the rate as well. So I pay $30.72 to insure my 2002 Audi TT. That is only liability coverage. Whereas on my Lamborghini, I have both liability and comprehensive coverage, and my deductible is $500. So I hope that gives you guys a little bit better explanation as to why my insurance is so cheap. Now let's talk about why I don't do the maintenance on this car myself. So I took the car up to make some models last week to have the annual servicing done on the car. Out the door, it was approximately 2,600 bucks. Roughly $1,300 was parts and $1,300 was labor. So if I was to do the maintenance myself, I could have saved up to $1,300. Now I've never paid for an oil change in my entire life. Last week was the very first time I'd ever done that. On the Lotus I used to own, I always changed the oil myself. On my Audi TT, I always change the oil myself and I will continue to do it myself as well. Changing the oil on a Lamborghini is a bit of a different animal. First off, it has two drain plugs. Also, gaining access to the oil filter is no easy task. There are so many components you have to remove. You also need a specific oil filter wrench to remove the oil filter. Also, I don't have a lift. I don't have a lift. I do not want to lift this car up with a $200 jack and put it up on jack stands to change the oil. I just don't want to do it. So there is one, and I mean one main reason I don't do the maintenance on this car myself. It all comes down to value. All comes down to value. All comes down to having service records. I don't intend on owning this car my entire life. In three or four years, there's probably a pretty good chance I'm gonna sell it. When it comes time to sell this car, I need to have service records. A Lamborghini without service records is worth at least 5% less than a Lamborghini with service records. So when it comes time to sell this car, I will gain that 1300 bucks back when I sell this car. 
I mean, think about it from the perspective of the buyer when I'm selling this car. I mean, look at me. I'm some Joe Schmo that makes stupid YouTube videos. And when I tell him that I did all the maintenance on this car, what do you think his thought process is gonna be? Is he gonna believe that I really did a good job maintaining this car? Probably not. He's probably, probably gonna buy a car that has service records from a reputable service center. And makes and models is reputable. I have so many Lamborghini friends that have taken their cars there. I know the owner on a personal basis. I actually spent eight hours at makes and models that day watching them do the servicing. They absolutely killed it. So that is why, the really the only reason I will not do any of the maintenance on this car it all comes down to value when I sell the car. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video explaining those two, uh, two things, the insurance rates and why I don't maintain this car myself. Weather is gonna be nice here in Park City. It snowed last week. I apologize for the delay in videos, um, but it was about 25 degrees and a absolute blizzard. Hope you'll subscribe. I'll talk with you soon. Bye.